What's up guys, this is your boy Brainiac coming back with another flawless video here. I'm happy that the channel's growing, 18 going on 19,000 views on that steering wheel emblem. That is awesome and I love the support from you guys. Now, the products that we're going to be using to paint this caliper. VHT, clear enamel, now that's 500 degrees that it protects your actual red VHT caliper. Now you guys can do this in any particular color. You can do it to your normal standard color that the car comes with factory just so that your calipers don't rust and you have to get new ones weekly down. Now the winter months are coming so it's super cold out. You want to protect it so this is a good step to protecting your car and then the next step will be undercoating which I'll make another video before winter comes so you guys can get prepared for the winter months but if you're in California you know you're not really gonna have to worry about that or any hot place that does not have snow. Now, if you're like me, I'm in Pennsylvania, lots of snow, lots of salt, corrosion in my eyes. Do not want my car to be screwed if you have to drive it during the winter, which in my case, I do. Now, the other things that you're gonna be using are duct tape, painter's tape, any kind of tape just to you know wrap it around, keep the actual garbage bag that I'm showing you here. Now, this will protect your struts, everything around your rotor, and basically anything you don't want to get paint on. So we're going to do that step. We're going to actually complete this. Now, if you guys are just touching up and you guys want to see my perspective on this, I'm just actually touching this up. But the full steps to this will help you succeed your, you know, opportunity of completing your caliper and changing its color, making it a more racy style. You don't have to do red. You can do blue, but red's more of the particular color, any color you guys like. Now. When you have the wheels off, make sure to inspect everything under there. I actually, when I was doing this, I inspected it and I noticed that I have really bad tire wear and I bought these tires about eight months ago, brand new, off the shelf, and my stupidness does not have a warranty. So I have to get new tires and the reason I have to get new tires is because I have a bad alignment from hitting all the potholes in this crappy town I live in and my lower control arms are completely shot. Now, I'm gonna have a video next week coming out on that, so you guys wanna make your Mazda a little bit more flawless by upgrading your suspension to make it nice and flawless. So yeah, let's get into this video, and I hope you guys do enjoy. And oh, wait, I gotta show you something. Got a new hat for the channel. If you guys are interested, comment down below, and if you guys like supporting me, please, you know, see if you guys wanna buy one of these hats. I'm probably gonna do them at $10 a pop. $10 is not expensive, and you get an awesome flawless snapback. Now most YouTubers out there would charge you like 50, 60 bucks for this. I'm not money hungry, so I'm gonna charge you $10 for this. That's an awesome deal, and I hope you guys will like that. So yeah, let's get into this video, and I'll see you guys in the next flawless video. Seduces people. If you guys just wanna simply start by jacking up your car, make sure the emergency brake is on if you're not on a level service. I put it on just in case. Until we actually get the car jacked up, then we can take it off, just to make sure it's not gonna fall down. So let's just get started, and we got a jack, guys, now, so. All the spikes off my lug nuts. Yeah, I make it harder. Then we're going to take our crucifix and, yeah, start on loosening them. Now, I recommend why we're in here and actually getting... The wheels off, the lug nuts off, the caliper uh, staying on there. Clean up as much as debris and check your springs, check everything, just to make sure that everything looks in working order since we're this far in the process. So yeah, let's go. Now, as the lug nuts are all off, remove your wheel. That was super easy. You know, I didn't raise it up high enough just so that I can actually pull the wheel off and it doesn't use any of my strength. And yeah, just inspect your wheel. Make sure there's no wear and tear on it, no uh, holes on it, because that's the worst thing that possibly can happen. That, and just take a spray bottle or something and clean up your rims really nice. You know, you appreciate your car. Okay guys, as you guys can see, our caliper is super ugly looking, all scratched up, nicked up when we did the brake job. And after a series and a while of driving, 
that tends to happen. And you guys can see how shiny this still is. Now, we're gonna clean this all up. We're gonna take a wire brush, wire brush this guy's down. Now, if this is the first time you're doing it, do the same steps that I do. It's pretty much the same exact step. Just make sure you clean everything off. You don't want any contaminants or any debris underneath your paint that you're actually painting. Now, we're prepping these for winter so they do not rust, and we're actually gonna undercoat all of this in a separate video. So if you guys wanna see that, comment down below and I'll get right to it. But we're gonna go get the trash bags for this, and yeah, we'll go get the trash bags. You know, we're just gonna protect everything. We don't want paint getting on the side of our car. We don't wanna get paint everywhere else besides the cow. Now, I'm gonna show you where the mask off, tape off, and yeah, we can get started. So. I'll be right back in a flash. Alright guys, now you're just going to take a trash bag, or two trash bags actually, and you're just going to tape behind it, make sure your struts all nice and, you know, protected, and your background's protected, and the outside here is protected, even your rotor. Now just follow my steps and it should very, be very easy. Now you can use any typical tape. I don't prefer duct tape, but that's the only thing I have, and when that's the only thing I have, that's the only thing I can use. Now, just be careful if you're going to use it, don't peel off your paint, because I know paint's durable, but when you have a nice, you know, duct tape that's really strong, it can peel it off. So yeah, just follow my steps of wrapping this, we're just going to get it prepped and ready for paint. So yeah, let's get to this. I hope one ain't your bitch. I see you flex on the gram with a couple of gram, but we both know that you ain't bitch. You wear fake fits, what I wear looks like. Alright guys, we have everything ready, prepped, you know. We can actually start the process now. Um, I'll actually show you guys what it looks like really quick, how I got it all set up here. Now, if you guys can tell, you know, everything's masked off. I keep this part open just because I know I'm not going to spray there. And the can VHT actually has a nice precision spray. But now we're going to add some of the tape onto the actual, you know, places that we don't want to get paint on. Now, the actual brake pad, I'm going to get paint on because this brake pad should never move because when the piston closes, it squeezes it tight. So basically, if you have a rattling sound going on and Mazda speeds and Mazda 3s are known for not having rattling, anti-rattling clips. So that's a good way to prevent it. Spray it on and it'll adhere to this part. So yeah, and if you have a little industrial heater like I do as like so, you can actually use it and make this process a lot easier. Now, don't put it on super, you know, fast, don't have it to the point where you're gonna get runs in there. But yeah, let's get start masking this off and I'm gonna use the duct tape again, but if you have masking tape, that works a lot better. Any kind of tape works. So let's get started. I said before, just take your tape, you wanna place it down in the middle, just because this is where your rotor and your brake pads are and you do not want them to get all painted and then get jammed. Now this paint is high heat resistant and you guys can tell this has been on there for almost a year now and all this damage done was for me, not the heat. So just cover everything up in the back. Now when you're actually painting this, like hold back and have all this tape and stuff, while the paint's wet you want to take it off very carefully because if you keep it on there, like I said before, the paint becomes a solid bond. So when you pick that up, you're going to peel all your paint off. Now, just cover up a little bit of these areas right here inside this socket. So just pretty much jam them in there just to block off any paint from going inside. And do the same thing with all, you know, you don't want to get paint on any of your uh, rubber pieces like your gaskets, uh, your um, seals, anything like that. So everything's pretty much prepped off. And yeah, we can begin the process of painting this guy. So let's move over to the step that everybody wanted. Let's go. You're gonna take your wire brush and pretty much just wire this down just to get a lot of that debris off and clean it up before we start our painting process. So yeah, let's just take the small brush and just go around, make sure to get all that dust and debris. And if you guys have a can of air, that helps too. And that actually will clean out your brakes so that you don't have any debris inside that's stopping you from your braking power. But look at all that smoke coming off there. This guy needs a nice clean. Now if you guys have like a um, uh, brake cleaner, you guys can use that. I'm just gonna simply just wipe off any of the debris, make them nice and shiny. 
Now you guys can see that we're getting some of the shine back, which is actually good, but we can see that we need to retouch these guys up. Okay, now we can start our process of painting. So let's continue. Alright guys, now when applying this, we're just going to be very quick and, you know, m make sure everything gets nice and covered. We're going to do a total of two and a half, three coats, and with the little industrial heater, this should take 30 minutes tops to fully dry or less. Now, it's about 7 o'clock, I got to run at 8, so I got to have this all prepped and done, and so yeah. I have about an hour to do this. Now I'm going to do three coats with this, and then I'm going to do two coats with the clear. Now I'm going to do the clear coat while the paint's still wet. Now you might argue with me, but I think it bonds better. So let's get started. Just do some light coats or heavy coats, whatever you prefer. Just make sure it does not run. So let's go. Okay, guys, as you can see here, with a full done first coat, you know, it's pretty shiny. You can even get up close to it. You guys can tell it's wet. Now we're just going to take our little heater, place it in front of it, like so. And we're just going to turn it on. This doesn't have a high speed setting, so it's always pretty low. And it's always going to be nice and hot for you. Now if you guys don't care about your heater, you guys could get paint on it. But I prefer to keep my stuff nice, but that's after the first coat. And you guys can see completely how much it changed. Now we have two more coats to do. So you want to make it nice and thick, you want to make it nice and shiny. Now when we add the clear coat, it's going to look phenomenally awesome. So yeah, I'll see you over at the second coat. Guys, now everything seems to be, you know, at least at a dry haze. It has a glossy effect to it already, but we want to make sure that we get the full caliper. And I waited about 10 minutes. I went inside, grabbed something to eat, you know, us humans do have to eat. But now we're going to start our second coat and make this more flawless than it is. So let's go. All right, now if you guys were wondering why I was using the drill, it has a very bright flashlight on it and I wanted to make sure that I got everything. Now, this is the second slash second and a half coat. You know, I pretty much got everything. Everything looks pretty clean. Now we're just gonna slowly, you know, start peeling off the tape that we did, the masking tape. And if you have any spots that are open and bare like that, you guys just want to touch over with the paint very lightly and make sure that you do not get it on any of your parts or just let this actually sit pretty lightly there to protect it a little bit more. And then we can actually start adding our clear coat because like I said, I like to do it when the paint's wet. It gives it a nice, you know, haze and nice gloss shine to it. So we'll start by doing that. Or every product that I used here is made by VHT and it is very high heat to paint. This guy is 550 degrees and up. So you guys don't gotta worry about these, you know, ever fading or anything like that because these are very well products and they're about $8 a can. So let's add our clear coat while this paint's wet. Now, if you guys can tell, there is a white haze that is your clear coat. After it starts to dry, it will turn completely clear. You don't have to worry about it staying that white color. And you guys can see how shiny our caliper is. If I get up uh, nice and close and, you know, turn down the brightness for you guys, you guys can see how saucy and clear that guy is. You guys are going to have him looking like this guy. Let me show you a demonstration of what my other ones look like. See how dirty this wheel was? You know... That caliper is super, super shiny. You guys don't have to ever worry about that fading. Looks super clean. Now, if you get any damage when you're doing your rotors or anything, from my previous video, like I was hitting them, touching them constantly, the paint started to fade because all the damage I was doing. But you guys can see how glossy and shiny that guy is. Now that's the end result that we're gonna get. Hey guys, now after inspecting it, it looks pretty done. You know, you just wanna touch it and if no paint, here, let me just, nothing comes off on your hand, you're ready to actually put the wheel back on. Now, I did not do another clear coat. This guy is just completely so shiny that my retina is just burned off my face. So yeah, you don't gotta worry about that. Second clear coat, now if you guys wanna be extra glossy, I don't know if that's a thing, 
But yeah, you guys can set over to that step, but I think we're done. So let's just throw my wheel back on and our thing is finished and we can continue to do the rest of them. Now, you guys know how to do the steps now. I want you to comment down below and send me a photo on one of my social medias or straight from YouTube when you guys do it. So yeah, let's check what it looks like when we're all back together. Hey guys, this is how he looks when everything's off. Now, I just have the fan there drying, make sure everything's nice and dry. Touch every single spot of the caliker. Caliker, what the hell's a caliker? Caliper to make sure it's all nice and good. And then you guys can start by placing your wheel. Now this guy's pretty dirty on the inside, so I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, place the wheel back on, and then show you guys the finished product with the wheel on it. And yeah, so let's get to that and see you in a sec. Okay guys, this is what the product looks like after it's finished. You guys can see how shiny and not matte. It actually looks like a Brimbo caliper. You can actually take some vinyl and write Brimbo right on there. No copyright laws, just kidding. But yep, that's what it looks like. And we have to do this front one left. I did the other two. Now, I will show some of the steps of this. And yeah. I'm just going to show you just because you guys might think the front's different. It's just basically painting and you guys can see that I haven't done him yet. He needs to be touched up. So we'll show you how to do that. That would be more of just a, that will be more of just a, a quick fast travel of that one being done because I did show you how to do all the steps, prep it, get ready for it. So you guys can just see me clearly painting that one and then I'll show everything off during the daytime just to see how bright the calipers look during the day with my red wheels so it might throw it off it might not but it's gonna look freaking awesome so yeah we got everything cleaned up we got that guy done now i'm gonna do the other one so yeah and you guys can see a bit of before and after at the end of this video on what we have accomplished and i hope you guys have accomplished the same goal that i have of being flawless so yeah let's finish that one up and that will be the end of the video so i'll catch you guys at that little time lapse and before and after so yeah Gang, Gucci gang, spend five racks on these double rings. Yeah, they look to hate. Man, because I'm probably getting paid. Do a feature, spend that money on some paint. And I need deals. Promise I'm better giving a real. When these singles start dropping, I'm giving you every feel. Your wounds will be getting healed. Some music giving you chills, and every rap motherfucker getting killed. No bullshit. Pulling every angle and sucking this little pulpit. Hey, man, that you rappers with bullets looking to pull it. Foolish. You burst me. What is you doing? Cool it. That type of thing, it was never cool, bitch. I have been on the rise times 10. Yo, what's up, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed my flawless video here. Please hit that subscription in the left corner and check out my videos on the right. I hope you guys do enjoy my videos. I love creating them for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces, people.